stud finders. And first, but first a funny little story. So I don't know, where, I've, I've had them over the years, but I haven't seen one around here in 10 years. Because I locate studs the, you know, like that, I feel that. You hear that? Mm -hmm. You, I can sort of tell where they are, but I get a three or four inch radius, you know, mm -hmm. area. And I, I don't like that because then sometimes I'll strike a hole and I'll miss the stud. So I said, ah, I need to get a stud finder. Now the point to this is you're looking for drywall nails or screws. You're, you're locating them with a high powered magnet. Um, but the person who hung the drywall might not have hit the center of the stud every time. So that's why you want several points in the, and to line those points up with your level. To, in, that, in that way, you can pretty much locate dead center of your stud. So and remember, high-powered magnets are what you need, and you might as well have them in this form or make your own on a stick or something. Just glue them, you know, perfectly... Uh, Plum to a stick. <laughs> I looked at apps on my phone and I read the worst reviews. It seemed like every one I found. So I'm going to show you and explain a little bit of what I think I know about stud finders, which isn't much, but it'll be helpful to you, I assure you. <laughs> I was going to do it here but simply because we have these awesome YouTube awards, but uh, YouTube has kind of a, a, abandoned us anyway. They said, uh, because you wear a bikini, we are a sexual channel. So, <laughs> so ridiculous. But let's move on to this wall over here. Yeah, they shut down the advertising on Banshee Moon Channel because you can't have a 55-year-old woman, 56-year-old woman in a bikini. All right, so there's That's a stud. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's so distasteful. So, what, uh, what, attra what attracted me to this? This is the cheapest stud finder that I could find. And that's what I wanted. But the main reason that I was attracted to this is because guess what it said on the package? Made in America. Made in America. And I was like, what? Somebody's still making these things in America. Fantastic. I want that. Plus it was $9 versus $20, $30. Right? And I don't need the bells and whistles. Sometimes the bells and whistles are unnecessary. But you can get electrical locators. This thing has no moving parts, no batteries, um, and it's really easy to use. So the, the, the way the manufacturer recommends is a sweeping motion like this. Oh, found a stud, you know. Oh, found another stud, okay. So then you can, you know where your studs are, right? Okay, you hold this thing. Maybe you could even put a torpedo level on it, you know, to get it plumb like that. Mm -hmm. And then make a line right there, bring it down, make another line, and so on. Oh, I found another one. Make another line, leveling this thing. It would be cool if I had a level, you know, this way. Oh, yeah. You'd probably attach one, but you'd have to adhere it pr properly. And then you can create a line with your four foot level, three foot level. And then you know you've got a clear indication of where your stud is. I think that is very useful. I know where my stud is. Okay, let me tell you the story. <laughs> let me tell you the story. So I'm walking around in Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever you prefer, and I and I go to the hardware section, and of course, as luck would have it, it was two ladies, both old and young. <laughs> The older lady is a gal I see there all the time. She was training the younger lady. And I thought, oh, this, this is just too rich. And mm -hmm. I walked up and I said, excuse me, ladies. They were talking. I said, could you tell me where I might find a stud finder? And they both went. <laughs> and the elder lady said, yes, sir, uh, right over here. And <laughs> as we were walking over there, I said, I can't believe you both resisted saying. She said, I know, I bit my tongue. And <laughs> it was so cute and funny. I was there, I had it going in my head. Believe me. I said, I know you did. I, I can see by the look on your faces. I said, your your cohort over there looks like she's a deer in the headlights. She was like, do I touch that in this new world where we got all these snowflakes? Yeah, really. Don't guess my gender. <laughs> Pretty easy to guess, aren't I? <laughs>
So anyway, we went and found the stud finder. And what guy has bought a stud finder and not made that joke? Hey, baby, try it out. Put, put it on me. <laughs> Whatever. But it's not working. <laughs> so, so this is not a very detailed video, video, but I wanted to make this point. Here, come here. Let's get these batteries. Walk through my messy house. Not batteries. It's not messy. Not my, what I want We're to do busy is, people. This is for all those guys who are going to say, why don't you just use a magnet? And the answer to that is, yeah, why don't you? If you got a magnet, use it. But the thing is, with this, is I think it's got a couple lined up, you know? And that way, ooh, look at that. You can, uh, you can get a linear sort of uh, indicator. Oh, man, these, these things are heavy. And how easy is this? Well, it's not very easy. I know there's going to be one down in here. Well, maybe not. See? I should be finding a stud. Yep, stuck. <laughs> oh, you laugh at my silly jokes. See? Okay, we found the, the corner of that, the metal cornering case. It's just not as easy because you don't you're not covering enough ground. Okay, so if I had a huge magnet, it would be a lot easier if my magnet was as big as this. But they but again, it's nine bucks. If you're going to use it repeatedly. Is that magnet going to get my wall dirty? No. <laughs> See, I, I haven't found... Okay, now let's try this. Okay, see there, I found one. It's just easier. You see? Now stick the magnet there. So it's it's got a magnet right in there, right? Mm -hmm. Right beyond my finger. Then if I draw it down, it kind of unsticks. And then it sticks again. That tells me, yep, that confirms there's two magnets. So that gives you an inch, inch and a half of magnetism, mm -hmm. which is like the same as you going around with two of these, trying to hold them an inch and a half apart, you know, or two of these that are a half inch big. This makes more sense to spend the nine bucks, doesn't it? Sure. Okay. So there you go. Um, and if you need to find electrical parts, electrical wires, get, you know what a chicken stick is? It kind of looks like this, but it looks like an ink pen, like a big fat ink pen. And you can walk around and it'll go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. How's that? Is that chicken good? stick, I like that. Chicken stick, yeah. And don't think you're a chicken for using them because it'll save you from being shocked. And yes, you can easily get killed on 110. Don't be a dummy. You. These guys that say you can't, they get killed all the time. If you ground yourself out, 110, let, let the electrician, read the electrician's comments below. All right, thanks for watching. You wonderful stud finders. Talk soon.